In my last video, I flew from Canada to Bangkok to visit Thailand for the very first time. I was completely blown away by my first impressions of this amazing city. And in this video, I get to explore it a little bit deeper. And this time, by boat and tuk-tuk, I'm going to get to see some of the most historical sites of Bangkok and see Bangkok from a completely new perspective. I am so excited about today. Today is the day that I really get to explore Bangkok. I'm going on a boat ride and I'm going to see some floating markets. It's going to be such a great day. But first I came to this cafe which is right next door to the hostel that I'm staying at and it is stunning in here. I can't believe this is right next door and I've been here a couple days and I didn't know about it till today. But I'm very happy I found it now so I'm having a quick coffee before I get my adventures on the way. This coffee was so creamy and delicious. I swear, one of the best coffees in my whole life. I was loving every single sip of it. But then I headed straight to the pier where I was to meet the boat and look at how cool and long they are and so colorful. I love all the colors. This country is so colorful. I'm always so happy when I'm on the water. So this felt amazing right from the get-go. I was in my happy place and already loving life and the sun was shining this was perfect well i'm feeling pretty lucky today because i get my own private boat tour i am being taken around by a company called unseen boat and road here in bangkok they actually have various tours but my tour today consists of a two-hour boat trip and then a one-hour tuk-tuk tour around the old town of Bangkok. It's gonna be awesome, but check out this scenery already. Like, my mind is just being blown. Like, so cool the houses on the sides of the water, and there's so many boats. It's just so much to see. I felt like I was just like a little sponge, taking it all in, and uh, enjoying that breeze, because the breeze on a boat's so good. Tours literally just began. I'm like 10 minutes into it and I'm already absolutely loving this because I get to see like all these local houses and things on the side of the canal. And yeah, it's really starting to feel like I'm seeing a little more of the life here, which I love. Super interesting fact, Bangkok's real name is like 169 characters long and it's been in the Guinness Book of World Records because it has the longest name of any capital city in the world. And the locals apparently shorten it to what translates to City of Angels, but the actual translation of the very long name is a lot longer than that. But City of Angels is the beginning of what it means. There are a few of these gates that you have to go through on the canal. So you get up to them, you go in once they open, and then you sit and then you wait and then eventually it's gonna open up again and off you go. Continue on your tour. Can feel like a little bit of a slow process, but here's another very interesting fact. Did you know Red Bull was created here in Bangkok? The actual energy drink, Red Bull? Yeah, originated here. That was very cool, I had no idea. Nor did I ever put thought into where Red Bull was created, but now I know. It truly does feel like a different world when you're in these canals. It doesn't even feel like you're in this massive city at all. It just feels so peaceful and tranquil and totally different. So first stop of the day, we get to come to a floating market. I just got off the boat. I have 20 minutes to check it out. I am pretty excited about this. Never been to a floating market before. The first thing I seen was this fresh seafood, like snails and all these little fishes from the river that you can buy. And you can also get some mango sticky rice. I loved her little boat setup. <laughs> this particular market is only open on the weekends, so Saturday and Sunday from I believe like 7.30 in the morning till 6 p.m. at night. They say to come earlier because it can get quite busy. As you can see, there's tons of people enjoying it. And make sure you bring cash because that's what you're going to have to use to pay here. They only accept cash and make sure you bring some smaller notes because not everyone has changed. This is so cool, guys. I'm loving it. You can get a little bit of everything here and it's so lively. And yeah, I'm in my happy place. The soap smells amazing, so I also needed soap. So I got jasmine. 
I definitely want to try something because I kind of have to, but with only 20 minutes, I think I only have like less than 10 minutes left. I got to pick quick. It's just so hard to narrow it down. I did in the end grab a little something something, but I was really just trying to be a good boat guest and be back on time instead of, you know, being the opposite, taking my time, coming back late, making people wait. No, I just wanted to be a good little guest, which I was, and there he was to pick me up. That was so cool. I love that little market. I wish I had more than 20 minutes, but they had nice cold beer and since it's a hot day i figured i would treat myself to a nice cold little brewski and now we are on route again and it's so lush in here i just uh, imagine having a house on this little canal and some of their little yards look so cute yeah this is such an amazing experience yeah i feel like i need to give this little tarot cake and try. I've seen them in the market since I've been here and I've wanted to try them for a while, so we'll see. Hmm. Wow. That is so good. It's like soft and flaky, flaky pastry around it and the inside. Hmm. Wow. It's not like super flavorful but it's like a nice soft flavor and I just love the texture the texture is next level I was just thinking this to me is like the Thai version of Miami because I remember being in Miami and going through the waterways like this obviously totally different landscape and buildings but it very much kind of brings me back I have definitely seen some pretty lush houses on this boat tour that is for sure but you see so many cool temples and again the colors and everything just looks so rich yeah, it's just so cool and so much history and then we came to this area where there's tons of like little restaurants and things on the edges and I kind of wanted to get off and go explore them but not today I'll just have to go do that another time but they do look really inviting and looks like people were really enjoying themselves I was having a little bit of FOMO I was fear of missing out and then we came along to this little floating shop which was so cool there were so many amazing things you can buy any sort of souvenir you need and yeah you can also get fresh coconuts there's never too much fresh coconut in the whole world mm. Mm. that is so good i can't get over how sweet the coconuts are in this country i have never had a sweeter coconut in my life before i came to thailand and i've had some good coconuts around the world but these ones are top notch Guys, this is exactly what I've been waiting to see, the big Buddha. Look at how incredible that is and what a view. This is amazing. You can feel this like powerful energy coming from that. That is incredible. The other incredible thing was the size of that lizard. He was massive, but look how cool he is. He's just doing his little lizard thing, getting in the water, going for a little swim. But on another note, in seeing that and all the jumping fish and everything, I would not really want to fall into this water. That would not be my ideal. One last gate and then we were en route straight back to the pier where the journey began. Well, the boat ride portion of my tour is now complete and that was epic. I think the only thing that takes a little while is going through those canals waiting for the gates to open, but what an incredible boat tour. I loved every second of that. I, I didn't even know what to expect, so I went in with no expectations and it ended up being even better than I could have imagined. So now I'm on the tuk-tuk portion of the tour so far. What an amazing day. The Tuk Tuk Tour is actually taking us around the old town of Bangkok. There's another name for it. I'll put it on the screen because I have a very hard time pronouncing it, but it takes you to five of the most prominent and important buildings and sites in the old town of the city. I am totally amazed at how beautiful these buildings are. They are so colorful and bright and yeah super beautiful. I'm also loving how airy and breezy this tuk-tuk is because it is hot outside. 
So this nice little bit of air after sitting on the boat, like cooking, is uh, perfect. The best part about this trip to Bangkok is I actually did zero research on the city, so I didn't even know what I needed to see. I booked my plane ticket so last minute that coming here was also last minute, but wow, these spontaneous trips end up being the absolute best. And I love going in with a totally open mind because I never expected Bangkok to be this incredible and it's just completely far surpassing anything I could have imagined. It's so cool and I love just leaving yourself open to see what a place has to offer rather than trying to plan every little detail. Some of these places you can pay to go inside. Um, this tour is just where you stop at each place and you can take a photo and see it. But it's kind of cool because then if you see a place you want to go back and actually go in and check it out then you know where you want to go back to. I do have to say, this is one of the nicest tuk-tuks I've ever been in, and I've been in plenty around the world, but this one's a, yeah, very classy little tuk-tuk. Our last stop of the day was the museum, and it's actually free to go into the museum. There's so much to see inside. You can't take videos, you can take photos though. It's safe to say this is probably one of the most beautiful museums I've ever seen in my entire life. It is just absolutely breathtaking. So stunning. Um, my mind is being blown today by all this incredible beauty and history and culture. I love it. That tour was fantastic. I had the best afternoon and I need to say a big thank you to Unseen Boat and Road Tours because they're amazing, totally seamless and really incredible communication. So. You know, everything just goes smoothly. You get to see the best of Bangkok. And yeah, I think that was a great way for me to really get a feel for the city and get a feel for, you know, behind the scene things. I was trying to decide how I was gonna get back to where I was staying. And I was thinking of just grabbing a grab <laughs> from where I was. But then I seen there was a ferry boat. So I was like, well, I'm definitely taking the ferry boat. It's only 30 baht. And then I get a little more of a boat ride, which I always love super convenient and really quick it actually takes you straight back to the icon cm that beautiful mall that they have there but before we get back to the mall i just need to point out once again how beautiful this city is it is such a beautiful city and i mean the icon cm that is a sight to see in itself when you're looking at it from the water because it is also absolutely stunning of course, since I was there, I decided to go up to like the higher floors and see what's up there and look at this amazing water fountain. For one, like this stuff is next level amazing and their food courts are so beautiful and full of plants and flowers and colors like the rest of the country is full of colors. I just, wow, I am every corner you turn. There's just something else amazing waiting for you. But then right there at the top is probably the best view of Bangkok. Well, I know there's lots of different great views from all these tall buildings, but for me, since this was my first tall building view, it was the best view I've had of Bangkok so far. The next day I went to have a coffee and a little bite to eat while I decide where my next adventures are gonna be. And yeah, this noodle dish was the spiciest meal of my whole life. It did say it was spicy on the menu, but I always eat spicy food, so I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, here I am pausing because I'm choking. It kicked in after my first bite. I was like, uh-oh, and I was trying not to make a scene. I didn't want to be like choking and coughing. The coffee kind of helped. I could only eat the mushrooms and the tofu, and I even tried picking out the peppers, but to no avail because my eyes were tearing hard. <laughs> it was so funny. But that's it for now, Bangkok. Even though I've barely skimmed the surface and I'm coming back very soon, I want to see some more of Thailand. And I've been craving some sun, beach, and sand. So I'm super excited about my next destination.